Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Going to be overcast today, top of 30. Going to be a lovely day. Uh, my wife's birthday yesterday. So um, she had a great day. We uh, went out for dinner and it was fantastic. All right, basically, we're doing a bit of work on the trailer. Uh, we're doing, going to do an inventory, check the dates on things, take the uh, long life milk that's in there out, put it in the fridge, use it, get some more long life milk for the trailer. Uh, and you can see I haven't got a tail at the moment. And I haven't got a receiver on the yet. Uh, basically, I've got a, a tow hitch on order, an Australian-made tow hitch on order. That's the last thing I had to do to this trailer was change that stupid polyblock tow hitch. I mean, they're, they're a good tow hitch. They were good when they were built. Um, but like I said, for me and the missus, it was a pain in the bum. Uh, because they were too hard to line up and um, yeah once you got somewhere if the ground was all uneven it was just a pain in the bum uh, the new jockey wheel's going good by the way I didn't mention it last time it's got a safe mark alright which is just there you can see it there's a line up in here um, when you tow these if you have to tow them through mud and sand and stuff, just make sure you're below that safe line and uh, then you're at the maximum strength of that um, jockey wheel for towing. Bloody good jockey wheel, love it long time. So I was just, while my wife's uh, doing the, the food and that's, she's got all the, the food boxes slid forward Okay, and she's going to go through there, uh, check the dates on everything. I was looking at the batteries, they're still at 13 volts. Um, I've got a solar panel on the car. I'll just uh, plug this into the Anderson plug I got here and into the Anderson plug I got here. And that will... Um, just put a bit of extra charge into the trailer while we're working on it. <coughs> uh, I was talking to some fellows the other day about tyres and how I, when I go off road, how I do my tyre pressures and everything else like that. And they said, well, you know, how do you pump them all up? And uh, when you don't, uh, what well, you know, if you hit tar, how do you pump your tyres back up? Because running flat tyres on tar is not very good. Well, they're not flat. Basically, I've got an air compressor in here. It's got a gauge and everything on it. And that plugs into the back of the car and it's got a long enough hose there to reach uh, both sides of the vehicle, the trailer and the car. And as you can see, it's a twin compressor. Hasn't got a tank, but that doesn't matter. It's still quick. And I just um, inflate my tires with that. And that works really, really great. Really, really great. All right, so we're going to get on with this. Um, Yeah, when does this milk run out? Um, oh, it's still got a few months left on it, but we'll replace it anyway. And uh, we'll check in the other boxes and see what needs replacing. 
and then we'll pack it all back away again and then it's ready to go I, um, well it's when I put the new tail hitch on it I'll do another video um, but basically um, then it'll be ready to go I mean look at the size of the steel plates and stuff they used on this that's half inch steel plate same as the that's on under the suspension on for the skid plates so you can slide the suspension over rocks without damaging it and with the pedas suspension i've got on on it now absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, we took the car into town the other day into uh, dabco i had a chat there with um eddie and we tweaked the torsion bars a bit uh, and did a wheel alignment on the front end and it just uh, improved it again uh, gave me a little bit more clearance under there and yeah it's just going so much better now I think they had it set too soft from factory I think so we just improved it what's that oh it's just a bit of dirt i thought i had a chip in the paint there no all right the mahindra we've owned it more than a year what can i say people um it's taken us everywhere we wanted to go it's almost done 15,000 kilometers because let's face it, it it's we bought it to tow the trailer when we go camping and that's it when we're not using it it just sits here um, all the other time we use our wife's car to go shopping and all that sort of stuff the Honda we use that to do our shopping and everything else all right I'm gonna get on with this uh, video uh oh sorry on with the it's been parked here a while, it's still at 13 volts. You have to love AGM batteries. Geez, they hold their volts really, really well. Okay, I'm going to get to work. I hope you enjoyed this little update video on the trailer. Um, I'm going to try and do one on the solar tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, later. we just got back from town. We bought some... Uh, stuff to replace the stuff that was heading out of date that's now inside we'll eat we'll eat that and use that but we got some uh, little jam because you can't go without your vegemite uh, and staminades anything like this is really important because it replaces your salts that you lose through sweating in the bush we've got some milks some more cans some more oil, some more fruit drips, drinks, and of course, where would you be without your quick pancake mix? And of course, the fridge and freezer gets filled up before we go. So we take plenty of fresh with us. This is just the um, stuff that's always in the trailer. And we check it. Um, and replace it you know and, and that way once I get the new tow hitch and everything like that and we're ready to head out again we're all good um, while I was away there's a 110 watt solar panel on the top of me ute there and we plugged it in to the trailer um, let me just get this lock unlocked here. And we're basically um, topping the batteries up. It hasn't been done for a while. So, 
Uh, that gets topped up and we just got to open the kitchen and put the food away and we're ready to go. I know there looks like there's a lot in there, but a lot of this stuff weighs nothing like this table, this chair, uh, that table there, this chair actually. Um, that's just how it's fitted in. All right. That's the restocking of the camper trailer. Keep safe, everybody. Bye for now.